with can pulse pressure predict white coat effect in treated hypertensive patients? A study being presented by Dr. Ahn uh, with the Chonam National University Hospital in South in um, South Korea. Thank you very much for your wonderful introduction. And uh, my name is Young Nam from Korea. So briefly, I introduced in uh, my the studies, and uh, everybody know that in the white coat hypertension is elevated blood pressure at clinics and normal at home. The white coat effect was a positive difference of clinical blood pressure minus home blood pressure. It may be relatively benign, but tend to be overtreated. Usually, prediction of white coat effect is not so easy. So we performed this study to elucidate the effect and the predicting factors of white coat effect in treated hypertensive patients in Korea. A total of 1,087 outpatients its average age is uh, 57 years, and the female is 52% with chronically treated hypertension in the university hospital were enrolled. The home blood pressure was checked in every morning and every evening for two weeks, and the presence of a white coat effect was defined as a difference of over 20 millimeters of in systole or 10 millimeters in diastole. We divide them into two groups according to the presence or absence of a white coat effect. It's uh, clinical characteristics. The presence of white coat e effect group was is a 31% patient, and the absence of white coat effect group was 70% patient. There were no d significant difference in age and gender di between two groups, and the part in the weight, waist circumference, and the waist hip ratio were lower in the presence of white coat effect group. And the incidence of diabetes and mellitus was lower, but family history of premature cardiovascular disease was higher in presence of white coat effect groups. The so smoking and the dyslipidemia were not different significantly between two groups, and also alcohol drinking and exercise habits were also not different significantly between two groups. So average of white coat effect was 9.8 plus minus 14.8 millimeters mercury in systole, and 3.4 plus minus 9.2 millimeters of mercury in diastole in this patient. And the clinical blood pressure measured by nurse or doctor was higher in presence of white coat effect group, whereas the home blood pressure was higher in absence of white coat effect group. Pulse rate. Pulse pressure in the clinic was significantly higher in presence of white coat effect group, especially measured by doctor. Pulse pressure at the home was significantly higher in absence of white coat effect group. The average blood pressure difference between nurse and the home was 7.8 millimeters of mercury, and the diastolic is uh, 3.8 millimeters of mercury. And then between the doctor and the home was 9.8 over 3.4 millimeters of mercury. Pulse pressure by doctor and the nurse was positively related with the systole white coat effect, whereas pulse pressure at home was negatively related with systole white coat effect. So by multivariate regression analysis demonstrated that pulse pressure by doctor was independently positively related with systole white coat effect. So in the laboratory findings, the level of fasting blood sugar and the serum potassium were not different between two groups, and also renal function and the lipid profile were not significantly different between two groups. So in the, as antihypertensive drugs, angiosentin-2 receptor blocker and the beta blocker and the calcium channel blocker were frequently used, but there were no significant difference between two groups. The, in the instance of target organ damage, and uh, heart damage such as left ventricular hypertrophy, angina, primary myocardial infarction, and heart failure were less frequent in the presence of a white coat effect group compared with the absence of white coat effect group. The incidence of target organ damage was also lower in the presence of a white coat effect group. Although there were no significant differences, brain and retina involvement were less frequent in the presence of white coat effect group compared with the absence of white coat effect groups. So um, this study demonstrated that this uh, first spread in the clinic 
was also positively correlated with fifthly white coat defect, especially by doctor. And they say again that multi by multivariate regression analysis, pulse pressure by doctor was independently correlated with fifthly white coat defect. So in overall, our findings suggest that pulse pressure measured by doctor at clinic may predict the white coat defect, which helps to control the treated hypertensive patient. Thank you very much for your attention.